hi, it's Carmel. There's a real crisis of people feeling very lonely, very cut, cut off, feeling very separate, feeling depressed, stuck in a rut. But you know, it all starts with us. You know, I grew up being very, very shy. And when I left home at 15, I just had to start talking to people and making an effort. And it doesn't matter what age you are, you can go and talk to the shopkeeper, start up a conversation with people. You're not doomed to be separate and alone. That's a spiritual crisis here. We're all part of this, we're all together. There's no one better than anyone. There's nobody worse than anybody. We're all in this together. So, and if you see others feeling lonely, um, I often go and sit down with a beggar in the street. One day I was at Victoria and Albert Museum for a function and I had on my tiara because it was a tiara exhibition. And then I came out and with my friends and then there was a beggar in the street. And I sat down with him and had a really nice chat. I was like, my friends were at the end of the road, like in horror, but I had a really nice chat and I said, you live in a really, really beautiful location, much better than where I live. And um, I said, where do you get your coffee? And really, and after half an hour, um, he had tears running down his face. He said, nobody ever sees me. So then I got up and joined my friends and they said, my God, you know, he could have stolen your tiara or whatever. I said, I don't, no, it never even occurred to me. So it's like being happy sitting with a beggar on the street or having dinner at the Guild Hall. Um, it doesn't matter. We're all connected. All of us are connected. So there's no, you don't have to feel separate and alone. But make the effort, or if you see somebody else, like a neighbor or whatever, that's isolated and feels separate, make an effort to go and knock on the door or just say hello. You know, your attitude, your sunshine, that spreads around. It's not a Pollyanna thing, it's energy. And you can uplift people and shift their whole day, their whole life, you know? So it's all up to us, it all starts with us. So if you see yourself as being able to make a difference, not just alone and separate, and if you're sitting there feeling sorry for yourself and feeling down, it's up to you to create getting out there. And there's so many different ways that you can do it. Just brighten up yourself and then brighten up someone else's day. And then you feel much better, you feel, it's like the energy that you give to somebody else come boomerang straight back to you and uplifts you. So isn't that a better way than feeling separate? We're not. We're connected to the earth, to the sky, to the universe, everything around us. And just you alone can make a big difference. And it's a choice. And it's a choice of moving from love and fear, uh, moving from fear to love, from the darkness to the light, from chaos and destruction to joy, living in peace, just enjoying your life and being creative and having a lot of fun. So just choose, what, how do you wanna live your life? You're not stuck anywhere. I've had many challenges in my life, but I've moved through them and you can too. You don't have to let the whole load fall on your shoulders and give in and feel sorry for yourself. There's a way out. There's a way out to the light. There's a way out to a loving family. There's a way out to enjoying your work colleagues and everybody around you. So don't stay stuck. Come on, get a move on. And join me in living in love, peace and joy. It's fun. <laughs>